In this video, you'll learn how to add a countdown timer to your WordPress website. And we'll cover three different scenarios of when it might be a good idea to add one. So if you're ready, let's get started. So the first method we'll use is we're going to add a milestone countdown widget using the countdown timer ultimate plugin. So you'll want to go to your WordPress dashboard. From your dashboard, go over to plugins, add new, and we're looking for a countdown timer ultimate. This is the one we want from WP online support. So let's go ahead and click install now. Once it's installed, you'll also want to make sure that you activate the plugin as well so that you can use it on your website. Once it activates, it'll take you to their area and you see there's a new tab over here called countdown timer. You can choose whether or not you want to subscribe and then and now we can choose a countdown timer to start. So let's go ahead and click add timer. And this is what are we wanting the timer to be? Say it's a birthday timer. And now we can go through and set it up. Now, note that the countdown timer goes off of your current settings in your current time zone that you have set up. If you want to change this, you can do that by going into settings, general. I'm gonna open it up in a new tab so we don't lose our space. So I'm gonna right click, open in a new tab under generals, general settings. And you can scroll all the way down to change the time zone here if you want it to be in your actual time zone. Now that I changed it, you see that it's showing the time zone as New York. All right from here, you want to set the expiration date that you want it to be on. And you have a calendar that you can choose from. So we'll set this for a week. Be done. This will be the time that it'll expire. You can choose whether you want it to tick down or if you want it just a smooth expiration. From here, you can choose how big you want the countdown timer or we'll leave it for the default. And then you can pick the colors here. That all looks good. So let's go ahead and click publish. And then we can go to countdown timer. And then you see the one that we just created. Now we just need to grab the short code so we can put it on the page or the post where we want it to go. For this one, I'm going to pick pages, add new, call it birthday, go to, I'm gonna click enter to go to a new line. And from here, you can either just paste it or since it's a short code, I'm gonna add a block and search for short code. So I'll find that. And then from here, I'm going to right click and paste the short code in here. Now we can click publish to see this in action. We'll view the page. Very nice, so that's a very nice and smooth transition. You see you can play with all the colors and make it look a little bit different however you're wanting it to look. Now, if you prefer, you could also put this over on a short code over in the side as a widget area. So let me show you how you can do that. We'll go back to our garden blog, we'll go to dashboard, and we'll scroll down, go to appearance, widgets, and we need to find the text widget. I'll grab this one, left click, and I'm dragging it up to my main sidebar. And from here, I'm going to right click and paste that short code in there, and you can give it a title. Scroll down, we'll click save, and then we'll go and visit the site. And now you see, it's over in the widget area, so that looks pretty good. So that's method one using the countdown timer ultimate plugin. Let me show you the next method that we'll be adding a countdown timer. We want to add a milestone countdown widget using OptiMonster. So let me show you how you can do that. You'll want to have an OptiMonster account and go ahead and log into OptiMonster to create our countdown timer Optim. Once you log into your dashboard, go ahead and click create new campaign. And for this one, we're going to do a pop-up. So I'm gonna make sure that pop-up is selected. You can scroll down and choose the type of campaign you want to. This is actually a sensitive time offer. So we're gonna click on that and it'll automatically bring the ones that are designed with countdown timer in mind. So those are good. And then you just want to pick the one that looks best for what you're doing. You can preview it here. See how that looks. And once you preview it, you can go ahead and use this template. So say this is a holiday sale, you name it, and that's for your use only. And then you want to find your website. You probably only have one here. And then let's start building it. And what I'll do is I'll bring everything in and you can make the changes however you want. So we'll get real big off the entire order. That looks pretty good. Since we just changed it to 30, we need to change this button. 
as well. Great. And from here, you want to choose the countdown that you want it to be. I'm going to put the end date out to about a week, a little bit less than a week. The visitor's local time, that's great. It's it's going off of their local time, so they don't have to figure out, well, what is my time if Eastern closes, if this closes at midnight Eastern, what does it close at my time? It'll automatically go by their time. And from down here, you can choose if you want to display all of those items or if you want to just take off the seconds and just have minutes. The seconds is pretty powerful since it's continuing to count down. Once you've designed it how you want it to look, you want to also make sure that you hit display to make sure that the display is right. So basically we're going to have this display when the time on page is at least five seconds to give them a time to get acquainted with our site. You could also set this up as an exit intent pop-up if you wanted to. That means when they're about to leave. We're going to keep it with time on page is at least five seconds just to show you what this looks like. And we'll do next step. This is what we want to show them. And then this is the summary of what everything looks like. So we'll click save. And for this particular one, we are actually setting it up to also get their email address. They need to give us their email address to get the 30% off. So then you can add an integration here. And they integrate with several of the top email service providers. You can choose the one that works best for you. If you don't have an email service provider, when you're using OptiMonster, you can use Monster Leads, and that just means that they will collect them locally in your OptiMonster account until you do end up getting a service provider. It's a great, easy way to get set up and get going without worrying about making sure that you have an email service provider set up. So we'll do Monster Leads, and then we want to publish this. So we'll publish that. And now we need to go back to our website to set it up. So let's go back to our dashboard. If you already use OptiMonster, you probably already have it installed, but if you don't, then you'll want to install the integrator plugin. So let's go to plugins, add new. Once we set that up, we need to look for OptiMonster. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install. And then we'll also want to activate it and set up the API key. So let's go ahead and activate it. And then we need to connect it to our account. We need to find the API key that's in our dashboard. So we'll go back to our OptiMonster dashboard and then we'll go up here to my account and API. Let's go ahead and copy this. Great. Now we can go back, right click, paste that in there and connect to OptiMonster. Once we see that settings have been saved, we can go to campaigns and then we can refresh to see all of our campaigns that have come over. And the holiday sales, the one that we were working on. So let's go ahead and click go live. You see it's it was disabled to begin with, but now we want to go live. Now if I go to my website, and now I have this great countdown timer showing up on my website. And now the third method that you can use a countdown timer with is by using a plugin called Seedprod. Seedprod is a great WordPress coming soon page. It also does really well for under maintenance, and you can use the countdown timer to show that off. So you want to head over to cprod.com and it's the pro version that has the countdown timer. So you want to create an account and log into cprod to get started. Under here, you want to download the pro version of coming soon pro. So we'll download that. And next we want to add it to our website. So let's go to our dashboard. From there, we'll go over to plugins, add new. And instead of searching for the plugin, we're going to upload a plugin or upload the one that we just downloaded. So we need to upload the coming soon pro and go ahead and click install now. Make sure you also stick around to activate it. So we'll do that. Great. Once it activates, you want to right click and paste the license key. So let's go ahead and check the license. It's valid. So we're good to go. Now we can go over to coming soon pro here under settings to make the changes that we need. And we want to enable coming soon. And then we also want to edit the coming soon maintenance page. When we do that, all of these templates come up and you see some of these have the countdown timer here. So you just go through, pick the one that's closest to what you want, and then you can make the adjustments from there. So I'm gonna click on this one. Now you see it doesn't show the coming soon or the countdown yet. You'll want to go over here under countdown and pick that. And you can toggle that to enable the countdown. And now you'll have the seconds and the minutes. From here, just pick the time zone that you're in. 
do the date that you want it to end on and it will adjust then and do the format you do the hover over the information part you'll see how you can format it best but we like this way because we like the seconds counting down and then you can also choose whether or not you want to auto launch when the countdown is done that would probably be best if you know that for a fact that it's going to be ready otherwise i would leave that off as default everything looks good so now let's click save changes and we can go back to our settings once we've made changes make sure that the enable coming soon mode is turned on and click save changes then and now you see up here coming soon mode is active and now we can open it up in a new incognito window because it won't work for us if we're logged in we won't see the coming soon part and now this is a great countdown timer for when our site goes live. So those are three very effective methods and I only showed you scenarios in which you would need to use them. There are plenty of other ways that you could use each and every one of these to fit what you're wanting it to do. So let me know in the comments below, which one are you going to choose to use? And thanks for watching. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.